So it's the beginning of 2023 and there is literally no better time than right now to be picking up video game consoles and reselling them on eBay. That is what we will be doing in today's video and it's gonna be a super exciting video. We are picking up, I think around six consoles in today's video or two of them are already actually in the studio because I picked them up during my winter vacation. So we're gonna go ahead and show those two lots as well as there's going to be I believe four other consoles that is going to be coming in some super super exciting stuff we're going to go ahead talk about how much we're picking these items up for we're going to talk about how much they're going to sell for and ultimately just going to show what has been selling during the Christmas break what we've been doing what our plans are for the uh well, for the new year here uh so this is kind of just another reselling vlog here with um, a main focus on reselling video game consoles because that is going to be our main focus for the next two months here because we want to make a whole bunch of money and this is the literally the fastest way to do it in our niche so with that said let's go ahead and get started also with it being the new year i decided to go ahead and get a brand new chair so no more beat up chair in the video so we now have a new chair but that is besides the point because what we really did get is a whole bunch of video game consoles as well as a couple of video games and as you guys see we still have the games left over from i believe last video the one where i talked about the ps2 lot and the xbox 360 stuff and we will touch upon those games in a little bit but starting things off i want to go ahead and talk about these consoles starting things off we did get a xbox one we managed to pay a hundred dollars for this guy uh and it's just the console uh no controller but it did come with i believe a charger or a power cable it came with a power cable and then um that was actually about it just a power cable on the console 100 bucks pretty good deal we're gonna get about 160 to 170 for it that's the plan i did actually try to list this console when i was uh in the uh in, in the place i was staying at during my christmas break because that's where i picked it up i actually picked it up in a local town there um but either way i tried to list it the pictures were they were pretty decent keeping in mind i had to use like a piece of wood and then like put it up against like a concrete wall in the basement um but either way uh there's a whole bunch of issues with the listing and the discounts that we had set up for black friday or sorry boxing day um but it, it, it just didn't go too well so we're gonna go ahead and get brand new pictures with proper lighting and a proper background but underneath this beauty of an xbox one we have a xbox 360 and you guys know that we're big fans of these consoles we've sold Oh, like God knows how many of these. Um, we always pick these up. We used to pick a lot of these up from Valley Village, but now we do pick these mainly up from Facebook Marketplace. This one came with a charger as well as another charger, which is going to get added to our bin of random accessories. We did get two Xbox One Connect. So one of them is going to go with that console and another one is going to go with another console because these guys, uh, I believe you can sell them for like 30 bucks each or something like that, or at least you used to be able to. But I just have to go ahead bundle up with the console make those sell faster uh it did also come with a power cable as well as a controller which has a rechargeable battery pack so a wired extension um so yeah i believe this is like a two uh 120 gigabyte version with the wi-fi thingy my bobby um more uh, this actually this is a power cable for the xbox and there was also a whole bunch of games that came with this console uh so let's go ahead and take a look at those so here's a quick look at what we picked up in that lot we got that halo 3 skate 3 gta san andreas overall a really good pickup here we have a whole bunch of call of duty titles gta 5 gta 4 call of duty 2 call of duty 4 tony hawks pro skater 4 a whole bunch of really good games games that we really need to add to our store because well we've been lacking on some of these uh, really good titles because they've just simply sold out these guys need to be refurbished those guys, I believe, have either been listed and need bins or just need to be um, photographed and they've been um, they've been inspected. So we're going to go ahead and find out soon. But I think as of right now, let's go ahead, clear the table and take some pictures of the consoles. So we can go ahead and list them. All right. So here is the Xbox One. And it is ready for pictures. Now, just before we take them, I do want to point out a couple of things that you guys should watch out for when listing xbox one consoles or in fact any of the newer gen consoles that have this gloss finish on them uh, one thing to watch out for is the marks and scratches uh, it's going to be very difficult to tell actually as you guys can see quite perfectly here um this one is severely scratched up i mean it is just an absolute mess if the camera wants to focus here um yeah we're gonna have to go ahead and mention this in the listings this shouldn't really affect the uh 
the console. I mean, it, it obviously works. I tested it. It's perfectly fine. Uh, it shouldn't affect the price too much, but I'm definitely going to mention this because this is pretty bad. I believe some of the PS4s have this gloss finish as well. So watch out for that. Also on the uh, the chargers, you guys can see there's a little bit of a of a gloss finish here, more like a like a mirror sort of effect. Uh, and same thing for the Connect. This one isn't too badly scratched. It's actually in pretty good condition. Um, but this is the layout I would go for for the first picture and then simply I'd take pictures of the charger, the connect sensor, the console. I'd provide pictures of obviously the top, the front, as well as the ports on the back here as my hand gets in the way of that shot. But as you guys can see, I would definitely provide shots of the of the back just so people can see the ports, make sure that this is actually compatible with their screen, their TV, whatever they're using. Um, and yeah, maybe just a shot of the underneath side of the, the console, if it has any sort of marks, scratches, or um, any sort of stickers or stuff like that, just make sure you show it. That way, uh, the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead, take pictures of the Xbox One and list it on eBay. And the Xbox 360 lot is ready to go. As you guys can see, we have the controller. We have an Xbox 360 remote, which is uh, pretty cool. This is definitely a first for us. We've never seen one or had one in a, in a I guess a bundle before so why not go ahead and sell it with the console it's pretty cool to use we have the charger we're also going to go ahead and throw in an av cable into the mix which i just remembered we obviously got the console 120 gigabyte hard drive it's got the wi-fi thingy we've got the console itself and with that said i do want to quickly point out as you guys can see we have rubber bands around the cables and i find this is a super easy way to keep the cables and all the you know, the, the extra wires and stuff like that. Just keep them together, keep the photos nice and clean. Also, it really helps with shipping and storing the items. So I find that having rubber bands is super useful. They're very, very cheap to get. In fact, you can probably get them for free by just finding them around your house or apartment or whatever. Um, but we use them quite a bit for cables and I recommend you guys do the same. So let's go ahead and take some pictures. All right, so the consoles have been listed on eBay and now it is time to go ahead and take care of the video games. And I actually went through everything and properly organized it this time. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much work we actually have to do. All right, so we have two piles here. The first pile here, this is all stuff that's ready to be listed. I believe everything here has been refurbished. This is all of the new stuff that recently came in. I think I explained that um, in the last couple of clips here. So yes, all the stuff I've already went through uh, it's all good to go, ready to be listed. And then this stuff as well has either been refurbished or it's ready to go. Uh, these games need to be refurbished and then these guys either need to be cleaned or refurbished. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. But I think starting off, it's gonna be a lot easier to go ahead, take pictures of all these guys, get them ready to be listed. That way we can also go ahead and list these PC games because I keep uh, telling myself I gotta list these, but I keep forgetting about them. So it's just gonna be one big lot up for auction, $0, seven days or five days. And we'll go ahead and move these guys because we don't really sell PC games because you need codes for them to like to work and it's like one code per per user. So that seems to be a bit of an issue with these guys, which is why we go ahead, just list them as untested, one big lot, one big auction. Whoever wants them, wants them. Otherwise, it is what it is. We can't do really do much with them, but we haven't had problems auctioning them off before, which is why we're gonna do the same thing. I also wanna go ahead and get rid of all these movies here. We've got like fakes, non-working stuff. Um, some some of this uh i guess the workout ones here some of them you can't list on ebay because of copyright so uh, i might just do one big lot here and then just list it like that but i want to go ahead and get rid of these guys so we can go ahead and get more space out of the desk but starting things off like i said we're gonna go ahead and take pictures do with these pc games and after that we're gonna go ahead and then refurbish some video games so we have quite a bit to do here so let's go ahead and get started all right so we managed to go ahead and list all of these video games we have about 60 to 70 games here uh each one of these boxes does hold 30 and we've got about what is that like one two three four five six seven games here so 67 games listed today uh which is pretty good um keeping in mind these are all ready to go so we take that uh and now we have listings for like the next three days here which is awesome this box has some pretty cool stuff in it some pretty high value stuff as well um obviously this pile has some pretty good stuff in it as well uh and then in here nothing really that stands out mainly you're like you know five six dollar stuff if you take away any sort of the sports games um but otherwise not too much going on with these guys we're gonna go ahead and drop these off at the storage unit we actually rented these boxes in the studio 
and um, these are all being listed to some of our boxes that we emptied out and I believe Common Lad will be dropping that video pretty soon so uh, that was a fun day at the storage unit that we spent uh, organizing all that sort of stuff but either way I ran out of boxes and I don't have a car for a couple days here so I won't be able to actually go to the storage unit and just get more boxes so I'm listing these to uh, TBD so they will eventually be determined they'll eventually be put in a box when we go to the storage unit and get some that probably won't be in this video um, but back to the main point all of this is done and we actually had uh, common lad passed by the studio today and he actually dropped off a pickup that we found and it's some pretty cool stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got so I am very excited to introduce our first PS4 and Wii of 2023. We haven't got a Wii in like about four months and we haven't got a PS4 in about a year because these guys have been very difficult to find at a good price, uh, but they've been selling like crazy on eBay. And that is because the PS5s were actually very difficult to find, but now they've recently hit the market uh, and they've become a lot more available once again. And I know a lot of my buddies have picked up uh, PS5s, so we're gonna hopefully try to pick up their PS4s as well. Uh, in fact, we have another PS4 coming in later in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because it comes with a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, but this one's just simply a PS4. It's uh, I don't know how much storage it has, which is a little bit of an issue because I don't have a PS4 controller right now, but uh, I will be getting a PS4 controller in, I believe, uh, on uh, Saturday, and today is a thursday thursday night right now about like 10 p.m uh so we're gonna have to go ahead and put this guy off to the side for a while uh actually just about one day we'll go ahead and deal with it on saturday when we get that controller in uh and then this wheel is actually ready to go we can go ahead test it uh maybe give it a bit of a clean factory reset it and then it's ready to go it does come with the manuals which is pretty weird we never had that happen before but uh, i guess that, that i mean that can't hurt the sell through it. i'm sure it only helps uh we picked this guy up for 30 bucks we did pick this guy up for a uh, hundred i'm sure we'll be able to get maybe like 50 60 bucks so a quick 20 dollar profit there 20 30 bucks um basically double our money uh so that's pretty good and these guys have recently become very hot on ebay we had a whole bunch of wii's last year around september october and one person bought like four or five of them at once and we're like there you go happy birthday enjoy them uh but these guys i believe we might be able to get about 200 dollars off of them so uh, that's about like $85 profit, but I do need to do a little bit more research because once again, we haven't been buying or listing a lot of PS4s in the last year. So I don't know. I need to go ahead and do a little bit more research. I did a, I did a, a broad research and they seem to be in that, you know, like 190 to $200 range. So we'll see what we can get for this guy. But first of all, we need to make sure that everything works because the seller did say that the HDMI port at the back is bent. It doesn't look bent to me but it does look a little out of place. He did say that it works perfectly fine, which is great because that means there's no problems with it. But just in case, we're gonna go ahead, hook it up to the 50 inch TV that we have um, in the studio here. So we're gonna go ahead, test it properly, make sure that there's no heating issues. The fans aren't crazy loud. Uh, I'll run you guys through that process. It should be a fun one. But once again, we need a controller so we can also check how much storage this guy has because I'm pretty sure it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, but I really don't know. The guy didn't say, I didn't bother asking for 115. Who knows? Maybe we got lucky. Maybe there's a game inside of these two consoles. But with that said, we're going to go ahead, put these games off to the side. We're going to go ahead, uh, deal with those tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. We'll have the time for that. But just before we call it uh, a good evening for tonight, I want to go ahead and actually test and perhaps list this console before I go to sleep. And then we'll go ahead and deal with those guys tomorrow. So with that said, let's go ahead and do some testing. Now, it is always a good day when a video game console works but it is a even better day when that console has a free game and that day gets just a little bit better when that game just what happens to basically almost pay off the console itself, which means we just basically added another $25 to our, uh, to our profit here. We got a copy of Guitar Hero 5. Uh, I literally just plugged in the console and I was very fortunate to have that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. We're gonna go ahead and actually test the console. Um, but yeah, just real quick stuff you guys should watch out for. First of all, make sure that the Wii isn't about to explode, making sure that uh, all of the cables work, all that sort of fun stuff. Um, make sure that it's actually able to read discs, which this one luckily is. And then last but not least, I like to at least go ahead and factory reset these guys. You don't have to, but just in case the previous owner had like credit cards or accounts or any sort of personal information saved to the console, I like to go ahead 
and simply just reset it. That way the new owner of the console gets a blank slate. They can go ahead, use their own accounts, all that sort of fun stuff. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make sure that the Guitar Hero 5 game works and I'm gonna make sure that the Wii doesn't overheat while under some stress. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick playthrough. About five minutes or so should be plenty. And we're simply gonna go ahead, reset the console and then it is time to list it. All right, and now the Wii is ready to be photographed and then listed, which I believe I'm just gonna go ahead and make the draft tonight and then drop the listing tomorrow. That way uh, we can drop some less listings because I think our strategy for right now is to go ahead and average about like $200 um, worth of listings or 20 listings a day. It's gonna be either one or the other. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna drop about like 10 listings and then the Wii. Um, but this is kind of the layout I'm thinking of going for because obviously we have the manuals. We want to show those off. I want to show off the cables. I went ahead and put rubber bands on everything so that it looks nice and clean. I also went ahead and cleaned the console with just a quick uh, Lysol life. They should definitely sponsor us because we use these uh, quite a bit. Um, but either way, this guy is ready to go. I mean, you could obviously hit it with some compressed air, but it doesn't look like it's too bad bad in terms of um, dust, but if there was a lot of dust build up in this, I definitely hit it with some compressed air that's always nice to have around. Um, and that's definitely something you should do. You don't wanna be sending uh, buyers consoles full of dust because that's it's just not professional. Uh, if you're buying a brand new console, or at least if you're buying a new console for yourself, or if you're buying a new used console for yourself, there we go. Uh, you'd want it to be in pretty good condition and you don't want it to be all dusty and uh, and that's, that's not just, it's just not cool. Uh, you wanna go ahead and give the buyer the best possible experience. Either way, back to the main point, I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos, list this guy uh, or draft it and then drop the listing tomorrow. And that will be it for today. And then tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and deal with those video games. All right, so it is Friday, it is the next day and today's first project of the day is to go ahead and get these PC games up and listed on eBay. Now, our plan for these is quite simple. We're gonna go ahead and just do a zero dollar auction and whatever they sell for, they sell for. Uh, but just a couple things you guys might wanna watch out for, or if you're deciding to do a lot like this, you don't know what to do for the listing. What we normally do is make sure that all of the logos are facing upright. So let's go ahead and quickly fix that. Uh, but you simply just wanna provide a picture of everything just as so as you notice another game here is not properly facing uh the right way up no this one is that one is okay um so yeah you just want to make sure you provide a picture like this it's kind of a front cover and then the rest of the photos are just simply going to be uh the games as well as pictures of the discs any sort of inserts that are included keeping in mind that all of these games normally have a lot of inserts and i'm listing these as untested uh, because I don't I really want to go through and test out codes and all that sort of nonsense. So I'm just going to go ahead and show what's provided with each game. That way, whoever picks these up, you know, maybe they uh, they know them a lot more than I do. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan for these. Zero dollar auction, whatever they sell for, they sell for. Uh, that's normally what we do just because we don't want to test them. I'm going to go ahead quickly get these guys up and then we can go ahead and then uh, refurbish some video games and do all that sort of fun stuff. All right, guys, all the games have been dealt with. And unfortunately, I couldn't record too much because, well, a whole bunch of things popped up. And I didn't get a chance to record any of it. But either way, everything has been dealt with. Everything has been refurbished. Everything has been listed, which is good. And we were able to do one last pickup in today's video. It is a really cool pickup. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. And to finish things off for the super crazy console video that we have going on here, I was able to pick up a PS4 with a whole bunch of PS4 games. We got uh, Star Wars Battlefront, Titanfall 2, Overwatch, Destiny, Black Ops 3, and FIFA 15. We got two controllers with stick drift and then one controller that is perfectly fine. In fact, it's almost brand new. And we got a tire Wii bundle with all the cables, manuals, all that sort of good stuff. We did pay two hundred dollars for everything here, um, which was it's definitely a bit on the on the on the, I guess on the high end of things. But I did pick these up from a good friend of mine who actually sold me his his Wii games um, about like two years ago. It was the first that I ever picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that video up right now. All right, TikTok finally got home, and I did pick up about seventeen video games for the store. So let's check out what I got. All right, so we got um, Super Mario Galaxy Two, Angel Two K Nine. Skylanders and the list keeps going but um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 will sell for actually quite a bit um, Mario Strikers Charged is also worth a lot um, and of course Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword the Anniversary Edition like this one oh boy but yeah this one this game is actually worth quite a bit because not only is it the Anniversary Edition but if we open it up here we got the game of course the manual and the symphony slash the music track. So these always do good. And 
and uh, and yeah, should be an interesting, should be interesting um, on how much I make off the slot. I bought it for about 40 bucks, and yeah, hopefully make some big time money. So yeah, hopefully I was able to find that video, but essentially that Wii lot was, it was the start of all of this. I picked it up two years ago. I definitely got a really good deal on it. Um, but so yeah, I kind of had to repay him the favor here and I, I did pay up a little bit on these guys. I'm still going to make some, uh, some pretty good money here, but I definitely let him uh, get uh, quite a bit of value out of his items. With that said, um, still some pretty good stuff. We're going to go ahead, bundle these guys together. Uh, do one big lot with the PS4, sell the Wii. Um, and then obviously we have the Lego cards, which recently did come in as well from my Christmas break. I, I collect a whole bunch of Lego. These guys will be a part of the set soon as well. Um, so yeah, this is basically it for now. So that's going to be it for today's video. I just want to quickly summarize everything and just quickly say that consoles are going to be a big ticket item, especially for our store this year. We're going to we're going to actually prioritize them quite a bit more. We're going to be picking up a whole bunch of consoles, less games, more consoles, more high ticket items, um, and hopefully be able to find some really cool stuff out there. Uh, I'm super excited to get to get back into it. Uh, I think we're off to a really hot start. We managed to pick up what like six consoles in today's video, two from the Christmas break, two Wii's, two PS4s, and in my books, that I call success. And I'm super excited to see them sell really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and list and test all of the, uh, the the two PS4s and the one Wii that's left off camera. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are also picking up consoles this year. Let me know down below. What's your favorite console to resell? What console are you playing on right now? I'm currently on PC, but hopefully I can pick up a PS5 soon, at least by the end of the year, because Spider-Man 2 is coming out. Obviously, the new um, God of War came out. It's a whole bunch of games I want to play, uh, and hopefully we will be able to find a PS5 to flip so I can play those games and then get rid of the console. Um, with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's it for today's video. Uh, make sure to go hit the like button, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.